So I'm going to play the game Dishonored with the Kinesic Mouse and also using Voice Attack. Using Voice Attack because I just find sometimes it's more intuitive just to say the name of what you want to do and it does it. So let's get into it. Gather. Cancel. So obviously I move my head around to aim. Seems to be a bit slow. Gather. Cancel. So to move forward, I blow out the cheeks or puff the cheeks. Walk backwards is opening the mouth. Strafing to the left and right is tilting the head. Jumping is sneer. Blocking with the sword is raising the eyebrows. Some commands are, I find, not able to be done simultaneously, but some can be, usually using different areas of the face, such as walking forward and jumping. Cancel. Use. Use. seem to want to work. There we go. Use. Use. Gather. Gather. Sure, why it keeps jumping? It must keep thinking that um, I'm sneering, even though I'm not. Gather, gather. You can set that up so that it doesn't detect so much. Use. Jesus, there goes his head. I love the death animations in this game. Use. 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 
series. going to change the sensitivity slightly. It does take some getting used to, but it's definitely playable. his head. Gather.
blow this up. And then a hell of a lot of guys are going to come from there. I think they just keep on coming and coming. You can run away and jump in the water and escape, but it's more fun to fight. See how well I can do. Use. That wasn't cool. Wasted a bullet. But I didn't do too badly. As you're supposed to run away, I think, not just stand there and fight forever. It's pretty good. So I just wanted to show you guys Face Track No IR as well. I do use it in RTS games and it is very accurate. However, for the FPS games, it doesn't have continuous movement, so it doesn't go round and round. It's just straight ahead sort of thing. And as you turn the head, as you can see those little red dots or red X's disappearing over the blue dots, that means it's losing tracking. So that's as far as I can go. And it won't keep turning around. It'll just stop. And if those lights disappear, it'll point up at the ceiling or something. So it's really not good at this stage for FPS games. I hope they do um, at some stage enable continuous movement. That would be very cool because I do find it to be a bit smoother and a bit more accurate. So we'll jump into Dishonored and have a quick go but it's probably not going to be very good because I can't have that continuous movement. I've also turned off auto aim. So I cheated and did that bit with the mouse. So that's pretty much as much as I can move.
pretty good. I would recommend it if you can afford it. I'm just using the trial at the moment and I'm not sure if I will buy it or not simply because of the amount of money and because I'm not sure uh, how much I'd actually use it. I think my neck would get sore because I do have neck problems. So I think I'd probably only use it maybe three or four hours a week. That's and um, it's equivalent of 500 Australian dollars. So it is pretty cool. Uh, I would definitely buy it if it's cheaper as is I am not sure at this stage.